excellent news. We've just had our rig check. The rigger has finally come. We first contacted him back in May and he just, yeah, never came and did it. And then we've been calling and calling him since we've come back out to the boat. And he's just kept saying, I'm so busy, I'm so busy, I'll get to you when I can. And finally he's been and he's done it. So, oh, we're so happy, so, so happy that he's been. It's not 100% good news. There's, there's work that needs to be done, but it's not as bad as it could have been. So we've got a bit of corrosion on the ends of the spreaders. So they need to be taken down and then some welding work done on them. So he said he's going to speak to the welder and hopefully it can be done in the next few days. Although it is coming up to the weekend, it's Thursday today so it's probably going to be early next week but it's not the end of the world, it's not a massive job, it shouldn't be too expensive and it shouldn't take too long. So we're really glad that we've had the rig check done, glad that we didn't set off without having it done. and. Um, yeah, glad that it's going to get sorted and fixed up soon. So yay, thank you Clive, thanks for doing our rig check, thanks for finally coming, we're so happy. Alright, the time has come to remove the spreader. Uh, it's got some ser serious corrosion on the end of it and we need to take it off and take it to the welder. So let's go. The first step was to attach the spare halyard to the tow rail. So all I did there was just loosen it off, just so it's you know nice and wobbly. I didn't want to take it off completely. We got the spreader back, the first spreader back from the welder today. Liam has got it back on, there it is. But he dropped a nut and needed to get a different size spanner. So he's just been down, got those, and now he's on his way back up. And he needs to get that bolt on before the sun sets. Before it goes dark. So we just got back from our last big shop here in Lanzarote. We are planning to set off to Tenerife tomorrow. We got the second spreader back this morning, so the boys are just putting that back on right now, and I'm putting the shopping away, and I'm gonna go. Yeah. Stay down here, sweet up, please. Yeah. Oh, you need a wee wee. Okay, hang on. And we are free! Free of the marina! And we didn't hit anything coming out of the berth, which is winning all around. Massive thanks to our boat neighbour Hines for his helping hand in making sure that, that did not happen. We're free, we're about to go sailing. Happy like we're days. You make it sound like we're always gonna get a boat, but he saved us, he didn't, he just helped us. It was the smoothest exit we've ever had. I don't know if you heard that. 
She, he just helped us. We weren't going to hit a boat. But he helped. Legend. This cruise ship has got a water park on it. Look at that at the top, it's a water slide. So it's going pretty well so far, got a decent wind, a little bit of a lumpy sea but it's just typical canaries really isn't it? I've just made a big bowl of pasta salad for lunch and potentially for tea as well depending on how much everyone feels like eating today. <laughs> but it was a good idea because it doesn't need to be eaten hot. The means fast asleep. Really hoping that she deals okay with with sailing. We've just anchored here at Papagayo. The boys have just gone in to check the anchor. It's definitely stuck on something. 
either in the sand or on a rock because we, it really tightened up when I revved down on it. There is some big swell coming in here, but the, uh, the period between the waves is, is really big, so we should be fine. Not great for getting to shore, but it shouldn't be like a bouncing around kind of night. Uh, no, we're not going for a swim, sweetheart. <laughs> We can do, but Mama has to go in with you. And they've gone, haven't they? They've gone into the water. There's quite a few other boats here. Maybe about ten. What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then twelve, including us. So it can't be that rolly here. Well, at least it hasn't been that rolly here. For there to be that many boats here. How is it, Liam? Is it on a rock? Yeah, it's under a rock. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, sweetheart. Tell him what to do. Okay, perfect. Are you happy with it? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, let's get the engine off. I'm just enjoying my swim. Yeah, go for it. So this is our new to us dinghy. Liam is very pleased with it. It's got an eight horsepower engine, so it's much faster than our 2.5 horsepower engine that we had before. Gosh, look at it. <laughs> its name is Patch, because of the amount of patches it's got on it. But it stays inflated much longer than our old one. And yeah, it came with the uh, the engine, so the outboard. So we're very happy with it, except it is too big. We're definitely going to keep the engine, but we might try and swap the dinghy out because it's 3.1 meters, whereas our last one was 2.5 meters, and it is just so big on deck. It takes up the entire deck, and because it's got a hard bottom, we can't roll it away like we did with the other one. But for now, it's much better than the one we had before. Liam is loving it. We also actually sold our 2.5 horsepower engine to the people that we bought this off. So we bought it, this, then we stuck a notice up in the marina saying 2.5 horsepower engine for sale. And um, they messaged us and they wanted a dinghy, um, an outboard. They've got a new one. They've ordered a new one for when they're in Grenada, I think. But just for now, they wanted a little engine so yeah we made a little bit of money back by selling them our 2.5 2.5 horsepower engine
Oh, it feels good to be back. We had a little shake down sail today. Did just over 17 miles from uh, Merlina Lanzarote to Papagayo. Zero fish caught, back to usual fishing standards. Everything went really well. Most of it was done just on the mainsail um, because it was light winds from behind and the headsail just kept flapping and flapping and flapping, it was driving us nuts. Um, I know a lot of people prefer to go headsail only when they're going downwind, we prefer mainsail only. I just find it stabilises the boat a bit better. Um, and yeah, now just enjoying nice peaceful evening on, on anchor. Do you want to have a look? Over there, we've got the island of Fuerteventura. Sun has just gone down over there. And if we spin right around. Volcano views. Lovely stuff. Glassy water. A little bit of a roll, but by canary standards this might as well be flat calm. Absolutely lush. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you're new here, subscribe and check out the links to our Patreon and social media accounts in the description below.